good morning. <clears throat> Just that's better. Uh, yeah, good morning. Uh, first uh, and most importantly, I'd like to wish two very irregular gentlemen I know, um, Neil and Emil, uh, better known to you as Hair Flick and um, the Tin Foil Hat Pipe Dude. Is that right? Yeah. Well, it's something to do with a tin foil hat. I, you know, all these very elaborate. Uh, uh, um, what do they call them? Subra case. <laughs> it's it's Sunday morning, and uh, you know I take a little bit of time now. I'm forty doo -doo -doo, uh, years old to uh, forty something years old. Not forty. I wish I was forty. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So happy birthday, both of you. There's um, as was pointed out on um, Facebook, at uh, some considerable ocean of years between you but <laughs> I, uh, I'm sure Neil will appreciate that um, uh, but and nevertheless uh, it's always wonderful to celebrate one's birthday I take enormous pleasure in it these days uh, and uh, I hope you both have a fantastic day uh, and uh, Emil particularly as I know you've uh, been going through the, the mill of recently and i hope that's sorted itself out anyway so um yes so anyway it's been a, a few weeks i've not been in the best of health to be perfectly honest with you and uh when it's becomes uh, it, it, well it has become quite hard work getting up and uh when it becomes harder to do that uh it, it, it's hard to motivate yourself to do things like a video uh, because I, you know, I, I wouldn't want uh, the world, the world, the uh, few people uh, that watch these, uh, to uh, have an experience of me looking miserable, somewhat dishevelled, and feeling, you know, not being uh, my uh, erudite and bubbly self. So anyway, yep. So there we go. Yes, so that's the reason for the absence. I have returned and um, hopefully will be uh, getting back to my regular Sunday morning or Sunday sometime. Uh, 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 I'm smoking in in uh, in celebration of the two birthdays. Uh, and what better pipe to do that? The old Dunhill Ruby Bark. It's a uh, group five billiard. Um, I don't, I avoid now, on Facebook and everywhere when we're talking about, I, I, I avoid um, naming the shape because I'm so fed up <laughs> with, uh, with having arguments, protracted discussions about uh, what exactly that shape is it, it, it just it, to me uh, it was put uh, there was a a, a um, now what's his name <sighs> this is the medication I my I, I might as well be smoking a pound of marijuana a day well, uh, well it's not important because he's not on YouTube anyway he's a pipe carver and we were having it and he made the point that really all the the shapes are are a, a uh, they're not a sort of ancient sort of uh, runic type thing passed down uh, a, a, a cultural artifact passed down over the millennia to uh, people uh, and uh, for all time they were a way of selling the pipes you know a, a kind of marketing gimmick I hate to use capitalist uh, uh, descriptions of things but you know uh, a, a a, a method of you know giving people something um, slightly different to what come before so and I thought well that is actually very wise and uh, and rather puts the whole kind of I've consulted an 1892 blah 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 of Dunhill and it says yada 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 um, it uh, it puts it all into perspective so these days I just say this is a group five Dunhill Ruby Bark and if you think that's a billiard, that's fine by me. If you think it's a Group 5 Dunhill Ruby Park, that's fine by me. If you thought that was a Rhodesian, it would be fine by me, as long as you like the pipe, and and, and that's, that's the end of it. So anyway, where was I? 
Oh yes, yeah, yeah, smoking yeah, and I'm smoking in it. I bought myself uh, hun- no two hundred grams of uh, of the old uh, Rip Germans uh, or German. We're now going to get into an argument about that. Uh, J F Germans uh, Rich Dark Flake, um, lovely stuff. Um, Unfortunately, days lighter. There's today's tamper, the lovely one that was made for me. With, it's got Milton 68 on it. It was made for me uh, by Giacomo, and I have to say, it's a, it's a really good tamper. Um, it, uh, of course, the old check tool with its bit to poke things out is, is uh, handy, but to actually tamp the tobacco is perfect. To be honest with you, once I get it going, I usually just, you know, with the old finger. Uh, but unfortunately, the lighter doesn't quite live up to the, the spectacular other accoutre, accoutrement. Um, but I have to say, I've bought expensive lighters. The two best lighters I've uh, encountered are these little ones, these disposal ones, and and the old on the old Zippo. The only flaw with the Zippo is that. Um, Depending on the quality of the fuel you use, um, you do get a slight peckly sort of uh, vapory sort of uh, flavour to your pipe. For when you're lighting it, other than that, you know, once it's lit, it's fine. But um, which is a drawback, and some people with perhaps a, a little more sensitive uh, palate than me, uh, it, it, it's, um, it's it makes them unconscionable for use. However. Uh, the more better quality, the lighter fuel you use, the better, the less you'll get that, and the, and so on. But anyway, so too much talk, not enough puffing. Um, the other lovely thing that happened to me uh, uh, last month mm, was a, a package arrived, <coughs> and I'm always I didn't know what it was. I I thought that that can't be the uh, the uh, anything that I'd ordered. So anyway, I, I was quite excited by the prospect of you know what is this you know. Anyway, it turns out it was a, a lovely uh, package from my very dear friend Dean um, Dongle, and uh, he uh, sent me um, a, a little package which I'll go through now. Um, first was uh, this Elizabethan mixture, um, Dunhill. Uh, I've, I've been smoking this, it's, um, as you can see, nearly to the bottom now. Uh, it's very nice, uh, and some people sort of needed a few. Well, I always think with the tobacco, you need three or four bowls uh, smoked uh, with a, you know, not when you're out digging the the, uh, the flower beds over, but, you know, sitting in your favourite chair uh, and thinking about it a bit. I think... Uh, a new tobacco does need three or four bowls really to sort of get familiar, familiarize yourself with it because you know there'll be a lot of things going on on the old palate um i always uh, when i try on these new ones i try and find something quite different so you know elizabeth mixes of virginia and perique isn't it so i um so what i try and do is, is, is smoke uh, uh, something uh, you know quite different doesn't matter what but just so that when i do smoke it and then you know leave it an hour or so and then fire up a bowl and listen just to you know it gives you a, a brain instant sort of contrast uh the other one was a tin of three nuns so uh, we can't get that anymore here uh we can get the um packet but it's not the packet's not very nice uh the curlies are lovely and this is the uh, mixture and uh the curlies i i think it, anyway I, I presume it's the mixture um, because I've always had the curlies in uh, in a square tin. Um, three nuns, what can you say? A classic, um, a very nice tobacco. Uh, a little cigar, I always like a cigar. Secret blend. Um, yeah, just uh, so I, I now need two pairs of glasses, readers and distance, and I um, uh, so it makes it Inca Inca secret blend. So that that it. The colour of it makes it look like it's going to be pretty uh, strong, I think. Um, then I've got a lovely book by uh, 
Amoret and Christopher Scott. Uh, tobacco and the Collector. I'm sorry, I'm showing it to the. There we go. To, uh, tobacco and the Collector, which I've yet to read. I've, I've got a bit of a backlog of reading at the moment. I'm working my way through, but um, there's quite a lot in it, and I did have a little dip in, and it's it's rather. I've, I've rather liked it. Yeah. Yeah, you won't find that in Watson's. Uh, and for, last but by no means least was a uh, lovely silk handkerchief, I share, which, uh, which is from Turnbull and Asser, which is a very, very uh, posh uh, shop in um, the Savile Row area of London. They're uh, tailors. You'll notice the uh, hand stitching on the... Uh, on the side of it. it, it's a bespoke tailor's term. And that's that. Yeah, either you go in there, you get measured, and they make you a suit. Uh, and you know, uh, I just imagine most of us wouldn't be able to go in there and get a suit. But it's nice to have one of the hackages, it, which is is rather uh, nice because uh, recently it seems um, uh, tobacco gifts sent to me uh, have a handkerchief. The last tobacco gift I received was for, uh, before Dean's was from uh, Jonathan. And uh, Jonathan, uh, and uh, he sent me a, a, some lovely things, plus a, 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 a um, lovely handkerchief from Dunhill, a silk one to dust the old hooter from, from the snuff. I never blow my nose. I think, you know, what's the point of blowing your nose when you take something? Well, I do occasionally blow my nose, but not because I've taken snuff. Um, it should stay up there, you know. It'd be like smoking a pipe and, you know, filling it. Uh, and then just tipping it out, you know, taking one puff and then tipping it out, and then keeping it in your mouth, thinking it, it, it's pointless, pointless exercise. So you know, I, I after I've taken a, a pinch, I I just you know sometimes a gentleman gets a little or lady gets a little uh, residue around the hooter, especially with um, you know moisture snuffs. It, it just tend to and the, the moustache of course gets you know. Yeah, a terrible residue. And though it's nice to occasionally sort of do that and get a, you know, a little extra that you weren't expecting, uh, I do like to have a little dust because, you know, one wouldn't want to be seen in public with one's uh, nose covered in snuff. Uh, so anyway, there we go. Um, I hope you've all had a, a wonderful January because I, haven't, I think I've made a video in January. Uh, I, I certainly did. I had my birthday. Uh, and um, all was well. Um, got some very nice gifts. A Kindle, Fire X, HDX or something like that. Uh, you know, <laughs> computers and such like. Okay, but I tell you what, I was very old-fashioned about books, and I was, you know, had this discussion with various. Well, I'm not getting one of those, but uh, I've got one hand that works. That now has arthritis in it. It's as light as a feather. Uh, I, I can read in bed again because I just couldn't cope with holding the book, which is a terrible thing because I love reading and I, you know, nothing like in the winter months uh, going to bed early and saving on the old heating bill and getting into bed and having a read. But there we go anyway. I know I got one. So uh, have a great week um, and I'll catch up with you all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.